Hi, how's it going? streaming on YouTube as well or yes we are excellent excellent oh no why has it done that why is it small screen what is this nonsense why are you messing up my display rate foregrounded why you do that why you do that <coughs> That's too high as well. Damn. What are you doing to me, Grounded? What are you doing to me? There we go. There we go. Hello, everyone. The last countdown to Grounded ever. Until Grounded 2 comes. Uh, what we're doing it is... Uh, let's, let's make sure that's a, that was a bit loud. A bit loud. A bit loud. Uh, we've only got eight days left. Eight days left to Grounded comes out with its last ever update and to PlayStation and to Switch. It's gonna be a mosh. It's totally gonna to be a mosh. So um, I'm getting ready. We're gonna hop into my single player world and start getting ready for the update so that I'm ready to go. Christian up, hello. Welcome, 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 welcome in. And I'm gonna do this every day. I'm basically streaming every single damn day now to the release. Um, I know, I'm a madman, what can I say? I'm devoted, that's what I am. Bear with me though. Switch. YouTube. Okay, that is nearly all the promo done. Nearly all the promo done. I'll do one for Discord as well. Bum, 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 bum. Who's excited? Who's sad? It's the last ever... Ever one. The last update for Grounded. The last update. Why? Why are you do this to us? Obsidian. Do you not love us anymore? Are we not worthy? Just doing my promo, everyone. Just doing the little promo. The little promo. The little, little promo. Okay, there we go. Promo done. Excellent. Excellent. Chat and chat and chat. Spicy, hello. Eh, yeah, hello. Grounded 2 is all but confirmed. Yes, it's a franchise. They've said it's a franchise now. I know for a fact that game devs often will start working on their sequel like a year and a half, nearly two years before um, the end of their current game. So I think Grounded 2 has been worked on for a while and I think they've probably been really concepting a lot of stuff. And yeah, I, I think it will happen next year. I do. I think it's going to be that mad. I wish we could have been allowed into the head shed. Well, I've got something actually, everyone. Should we show you something, what it would be like? Someone's made a playground. Before we dive into my single player world, I'm going to... Because I don't think it would be a good idea. I, I've long said this. I've long said this. Um, let me show you. Let me show you. One of my peoples, Russo, uh, told me about one today. Welcome to your tiny home, he says. And um, effectively, if you go in the house, it makes the concept grounded not as fun. Because everything's too human-like. Everything's too big. 
everything's too large and it just doesn't it's not as good it just isn't um so if we go to weekly hits i think it is just try to play ground out called welcome to your tiny home journey beyond once your tiny home uh next page next page creators made a huge bathroom kitchen and porch area and so i think it will show why it's not that great um, because everything just becomes a bit too it's not as dangerous there's not as much foliage there's not enough interesting things happening oh my god my dog is barking everyone I've got to go and let him out let me let me find this back in set back in set Let's have a look. Oh, all time hits, all time hits. I was looking the wrong one. I was looking the wrong one, people. Hey, my only down. It's from fourth place now. Well, that's coming on strong. I guess someone's given up downloading their map over and over again. Apex. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know. Come on, where is it? Come on. We need a search function. We need to be able to search. All of them. But anyway, how's everyone doing? What, what are we doing? I've put a poll. Like, Is anyone going to be buying Grounded again? Are you going to be buying it on Xbox? I mean, PlayStation or Switch? Or um, just buying it up again? Or is it like once you play it on Xbox, you don't really need to buy it on anything else? Come on, where is it? Welcome to... Do, 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 do. Welcome to... Someone's apparently done like a really detailed one. There we go. Welcome to my tiny home. Let's play it. Just for a quick second before we start my single stuff. Uh, so, 924 downloads, not bad. I feel like there should be more people downloading these. It does feel kind of low. Hey, now, nah, it's not a brand new one, to be fair. It's an old one, apparently. But, uh, uh, my tiny home. But just to give you the sense of scale. So, yeah, as I was saying, Small Land had this. You don't feel small in Small Land because they've got a lot of human elements in it and things are too big and because the foliage doesn't really cover you or it just isn't that great. Um, so in Grounded though, the foliage, you really do feel small because the grass blades are so just everywhere. Bruh, what's all these boxes? Bruh, what's all these boxes? Whoa, and it will end up becoming boring because all you're doing is just trying to climb on top of massive furniture. That's why I'm saying it's not a good idea. We don't really ever want to go into a purpose built house, maybe a laboratory that's got multi different rooms in it. But it, yeah, it would just become like a, a parkour thing, it would just be like a, one of them Minecraft maps back in the day. Where they would make like oversized battle arenas for like um, the Hunger Games and stuff. Man, hey, hold up, hold up. Is there even a tree in the game? Someone's put that tree together. That is crazy. Fair play. Fair play to whoever's done that. That is a mad one. Barefoot eel. Hello, mate. Welcome, welcome, in. Oh, we've got the moths just running around. Right, I've got a little dog back in there.
yeah, eight days to go. Uh, how do we get into this place? Can we not run around it in creative mode? That would have been cool. I can't even use my cheat software. I realized I uninstalled it by accident. My Unreal Unlocker. Maybe I need to get it back online. A microscopic, that would be cool. You, why haven't we had a game? Like um, there was a film in the 80s, early 90s, in a space where you went in someone's body. That would be kind of sick. I mean, that is mad. Someone's built that tree. That is crazy. That is fair play. That is, this is pretty cool. Even if it doesn't, even if it's not particularly what I think is going to be good for a grounded map to play. That's just mad. It's mad. It's mad. Absolutely mad. I kind of, I really want to um, just run around and explore and take a look at it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to download it quickly. This is our cheap people. I don't even know if they uh, work. Uh, the cheats with playground maps. I guess they, they must do, right? But this is what I used to use to um, basically sneak in to see all the stuff that might be coming to grounded in future in the past. Okay. Where's the download? Uh, there we go. Oh, don't do this at home, kids. Yeah, zip. Don't want to be downloading dodgy files, but I'm going to take a chance. Take a chance, take a chance, take a chance, take a chance. We'll unzip all that, extract it all. Yes, we will. Okay. Bump, bump, and then Unreal Client. Inject. Grounded. Let's see if it doesn't break the game. Yes, he's done it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. No emails, ideal a grass blade. Water bears, dust mites. Yes, that would be a cool one for sure. For sure. Okay, let's uh, let's, uh, let's have a look, proper look, shall we? What this map has to offer. Okay, so he's built like a whole city over here. Oh uh, man, this is definitely making me feel like I want to explore lots more playgrounds now. Seeing what people are coming up with. Wow, this is cool. This is freaking cool. Shout out to uh, the creator of this map. I'll give him a proper shout out if I do a proper video on it. Oh, look at that. Hey, I thought we was going to the garage. I was giving false info. I was giving false info. Okay, someone's made the pot. Yep, yeah, like quadruple pots. Just blended the pots together, I swear. You wouldn't even tell either. Interesting, interesting. Okay. So, yeah. And then let's go over here. Do, 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 do. Man, all these brickworks making it. Man, someone has spent a long time doing this. Fair play. So, it's kind of oversized. Look at the koi pond. <gasps> they move as well. Well. Yeah, no, they do move. Oh, look, that is sick. That is sick, bruv. Uh, but it's not obviously glass. They're just held there. That's such a good illusion, though. That is really cool. So how are you meant to get in here? Is it meant to be, like, um, through the doorway, through the gaps here? And this is why, this is why I say it would be boring. A big part of Grounded's appeal is that you s you can't see danger. You hear it rustling in the grass and stuff. And this is it. In a floor of a kitchen or whatever, there's no danger. You'll see the bugs from 20 miles away. There's, it's just running across empty and empty floors. You know, I'm not saying it's impossible. Maybe a kid's room with carpet in and a billion toys all over the spot. Like a shag pile carpet. It could be interesting. It could be fun. But otherwise, it's just a lot of this. This is why the, the house... This I'm convinced this is why the devs never did into the house. Because it would just be just running around. It's crazy, though. It's good. I mean, this could be one of the best maps we've seen in terms of, like, detail and stuff. Okay. 
Oh, yeah. And it's just, look, you can see what I mean. Like, this is nothing on the floor. It's just, it's, it's got no life. It lacks, it lacks that feel. It lacks that element of, like, you're in a jungle or a forest or whatever. I mean, not all games have to have that, but it lacks it for sure. Oh, it's got the plug sockets there as well. Uh, like, mites. I mean, there are enemies. There are. Like, of course there are enemies and stuff. What's going on with these flies? Maybe, like I said, if you did like a living room, you could have a bit more going on. But then you'd have just big sofas or maybe a few rugs and stuff like that. I love what I've done up there. Is that meant to be like the hob, the extraction front? No, it's just shelving. Just mad shelving. Yeah, look at that. They're using the ashtrays as the, the cylinders to turn and twist off. That's freaking cool. It's very, it's very cool. And he's used books. He's used books for the, um, that's interesting. Warren, hello. I'm just having a little run around this map someone built just to emphasize why it would be bad if there was DLC. It's cool to run around. It does look cool, but there's no element. It's just, it's not as interesting on the floor. It's not as interesting to play. It looks cool, but it's not as interesting to play. But anyway, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Obviously, you can disagree with me and go, no, 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 this is great. I don't mind. What purpose? Think about purpose. That's what game developers think about, which we don't. We just think sometimes, oh, yeah, we want to go inside the house. But what what is the purpose of, of something? What purpose does it serve going into the house? What part of the story does Wendell in the house often? Maybe in his garage. I mean, this is cool. Now... Small areas, this is why I want an ominent factory, an ominent headquarters where everything's been shrunken. That they made like a, a failsafe, or Schmetz has made a failsafe where he's shrunken down his whole secret base. And we have to go through the base. And it could be filled with laboratories like this, much bigger and squarer, and uh, all sorts of different biomes and science experiments gone wrong. Like there's so much they could do with a grounded two sequel. What do these buttons do, bro? Okay, I'm gonna um, have a look here. Oh. Sometimes it doesn't always work. There we go. Quests Co. Quests Co. God damn, he's got loads of buttons as well. What do they do? We just get a sap. Is this like a cheat box? It's just a cheat box. You can pick up stuff. But why? Okay. Okay. It's got a lot of sound vibes, fire ramp parts. Oh, we'll have the zipper. This is honestly, this is this is definitely one of the best maps I've seen. That's why I kind of felt like I needed to wait. I was doing some tours, and some people make some good stuff, but I'm I'm kind of glad I didn't persist. But no one was watching them. I don't know why people just weren't watching the the playgrounds. F locate the thermostat. Hit the thermostat button to jump down the air. Once complete, return to indoor quest and press this button so the lights turn green to completion. Okay. And what's this one? Clogged pipes quest. <laughs> oh. Signal antenna quest. Mate, someone's done like a proper RPG. Just got green nail to keep busy. Any advice? Um, make sure you've got spider antidote. Make the pulses, I think it is, with the finger. I did a bunch of guides on my other channel, Warren. Just go and check out uh, JPG Survival. Or look up JPG Green Hill. You'll have a ton of guides from me. I covered that game ages ago. What does it say there? Once you complete the quest and click the red button to turn light for red to green, you may collect your reward. Jump up and press the blue button once for each quest to complete. Okay. Okay, I've just got a sap in there. Right. Um... I didn't even think about the pictures being uh, to be massive. 
Yeah, it does. That's what it, I can see why. I've seen a few people say they feel a bit underwhelmed that it's the last update and it's not seemingly... I think it's because we have got used to so many good updates and it does... It, it obviously, it does. It is concentrated on giving it replayability, not necessarily just. Well, it is new content, but it's only for people that really want to really replay the game. I don't know. Yeah, I could see why. I can see why some people were slightly miffed that it's not. It's not got more in it. But I, I mean, I think grounded is complete. I don't really understand how much more they could really add at this point. The story's wrapped up. Like it makes sense to be doing grounded two now to me. It does. But. I know everyone just wants more. Glad you're on. Hello. If we go into Omni, I feel sure we have to enter terrariums to fight bugs. Yes. Yes, Barefoot. They could do experiments on all sorts. What if they were shrinking down lions or tigers and we have to fight? I mean, it would probably go against the, the ethos of it. I wish I could talk to Adam, man. I want to talk to Adam or Robbie. I want to get them on board and hash this out with them. Need to talk to the grounded devs. Talk to me, grounded devs. Talk to me. Maybe that'll be arranged. We might have something. Maybe not Adam or, or Robbie. But we might have something happening. The third best option we can. Very soon in the future. Okay, so let's look at the rest of this map anyway. So we've got like the, the cooking and ovens. Oh yeah. Classic cooking the, the broth. Bones and sugar. It looks like onions. Yeah, this is cool. So this is what it would be like, people. You said you wanted a kitchen. Well, here's your freaking kitchen. This is what it could be like, potentially. Bugs aren't animals, I guess. Animal care cruelty. Yeah, that's the point as well. If you start adding like lions and tigers, people are going to start getting upset. Spaghetti. But what if you could ride them? Like horses. Mini horses. I don't know. Then it becomes our Conan, right? That's, that's grounded things, the bugs and spiders element. Okay, so we've got this. Have we got meant to do anything with it? I know I'm spoiling this for myself and anyone else that thinking of playing this map. But, you know, it's going to give you something to aim for. Because I tell you what, if you spawned in there, that I think that cave is the wrong spot to spawn in. I think they should change it so you can see the house straight away. That's the impressive part. It's like, whoa. You don't want to be spawning in a cave, even if it takes a few seconds to get out, where... You're only starting to see a few things. So these areas are okay. These areas could be interesting for sure in terms of like exploring. And it's got laboratories as well. It's it's just getting through that first kind of boring stage. There's so much to it, Jesus Christ. It's that first boring stage of running across a kitchen floor or running across a living room floor. It's kind of boring. You seen this mate, thought it was cool? Yeah. But yeah, I'm just showing it off, Josh, that it just might not be as good for a DLC or like a, to go into the house. We'd have to have maybe an interesting way to get across this zone. Maybe make it that there's a cat or a dog or the lizard is running loose. And if it sees you, it can kill you straight away. So that what you need is jumping boots, spring boots to get across the floor quicker. Or you need a glider. A helicopter glider that can take you up. Um, do you know something where you, it's almost a game of like, yeah, you've got to avoid it. You can't kill it. It's like the koi fish. That could be pretty sweet. That could, I could live with that. God damn it. Look at this. Very, very closed in with all this stuff. But is this meant to be the toilet? It's the toilet. It's the toilet, everyone. Yeah, someone's made this map. Rosso was mentioning earlier that um, it kind of highlights why a indoor map might not be so cool. And I agree with him. But I am looking at some parts of this and going, no, 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 some of this stuff definitely could work. Just got to get a way to avoid running around the floor of the um, living room or the kitchen. Oh. False alarm. Look, he's got so much. What is this dude doing? Only 13 updates as well. That is crazy.
Eric, you'll be playing on the 16th. You'll be playing it on the first time, Eric. You're going to have such a great time, mate. I'm going to have loads of guides specifically designed for PlayStation players. Make sure you're subscribed. But yes, I'm going to be all over it. It's such a good game, my friend. Easy, I think it's going to become a lot of PlayStation players' top five survival games. It's still doing well on the pre-orders. It's still third most pre-ordered game. Sea Thieves is beating it, but yeah. Just boxes are... And that is like a box of what you'd find, like a box of little army men. Oh, this is storage, this is the shed. This is almost a mini shed. Yeah, 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 I get it now. But yeah, uh, come on, do we agree or disagree? Would you, is this what you imagine going inside the house? Does it look fun enough? Could you get over the fact that the floor, running around the floor would be kind of boring? Maybe this is where we need bikes, some sort of vehicles. You want to change the area, like enter in a cave, but you can place it any way you like. Yeah, yeah, it needs like more lighting like that. Like bigger lighting, not just like from one torch. Although, if you resize the torches, they make even more... Bro, what's he used there? It's like a PC part for the computer. That's genius. That is genius. That is... Genius. Gliding cow. I never liked the idea of going in a house. It doesn't feel like it belongs in the game. I want to go in a house. How the devs want us to go inside the house. I've, I think they don't. I think they've realised this. I think they tested this stuff out themselves with the shed. That's why the shed got really cut. Because it just was boring. I mean, I'm not saying this would be boring. But it does. I think it does. It really highlights. At least weird stairs. I just realised these stairs are a little bit off. But hey oh, We'll let it slide. We'll let it slide. So there's an upstairs as well. Shut the door. Shut the door. Oh, there's a bed. Yeah. Yeah, this is a very, like, attic one. This this would cost you about £1,200 in London to rent. Not as fun as in the garden. Yeah. It needs it needs the omelette. The omelette labs have got to be the way to go. Or uh, people can sound like a jungle. Like a real, but then it'd still be quite too jungly. You wouldn't be able to have any kind of other biomes in it, would you? And why would you be shrunken down and just did Amazon? So it'd have to be like some sort of science experiment gone wrong. Ominent, has got to be closed down for good. That's what the sequel could be. <laughs> I've never noticed this picture. Is this something they added new? Oh, it's one of the games that's part of the thing. I've never noticed this though. That sword. What if that's what if that's the tier four sword, people? What if this is it? What if you can go in the ventilation system, observe the house? That's a good idea, Spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just something to circumnavigate the boredom of going around a flat area. But yeah, good, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, does it say who the crater is of this map again? I'm gonna have a little look. Well, you see the code there, XTG6PFJKM. Yeah, Holder's House, yes. Hmm. Yeah, we should be able to like collect some of the toys more. It's about one of only two or three things Smallland's got going for it. Um, <sighs> Big shout out to Master ZZM9470. Phenomenal work, sir. Phenomenal work. It's great, like, you know. Top notch, top notch. Anyway, let's go back to my single player world now. Uh, day 152. I've lost footage. I was going to try and do 150 days. But I have lost some videos. So <clears throat> I might do a lot of recap. That's about as good as I can get.
Okay, here we are. Here we are. So, what I'm thinking is, I've got to follow my own advice about getting ready for 1.4. I was trying to do the museum. I think the museum idea is going to be kaput for now. We'll prep, and then if I've still got time, maybe I can do my museum. Uh, in that case, though, I feel like I have got just a lot of wasted resources here. Cheats, cheats are still on. No, not in my single player world. I mean, I can't use them. This chat is very blue right now. Hey, I respect my long-time reviewers. They get to become my special moderators. So, what I want is, knowing that we are going to need teleporters, well, teleporters are going to be in the, the position I want them to be. Um, I kind of want to get set up with... I need to get practice in defeating all the bosses because I'm rusty as hell and I want to Jesus Christ what was the stuff I was doing uh, sweets sweets candies candy we need we need candies I need lots of candies it would be good to start thinking about stuff like that as well um, there we go let's put some of that stuff away Man, it's so long. I'm. Uh, so, when was the last time I recorded an episode of this? Easily, like two months ago. Maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. You haven't really got a lot of candy. Look, this is it. This is my candy collection. I've got plenty of cha-chas. I've got no fresh mints. Not, not many, anyway. I've got globs. We need more candies. Hundred K or so. Yeah, if they're really expensive, I'll be sad. I'll be sad. I still enjoy going back to your ground guides where things will get sad. I really, I mean, I really will get to the point where I've, I've covered everything new and grounded, but there still seems to be interest. I will do. I might do little side let's plays where, like I, that idea I did where I did the retro. I did like two episodes of it where we went all the way back to the first update for grounded, and like every ten days I'll fast forward to the next update. Is the calypse, calypse happening like right now? Is it? It's really cloudy where I am in Devon, so you can't see shizzle. It runs for like five minutes. Okay, right. Anyway, candies, uh, meals. I've oh, forgotten how to play grounded. I've forgotten how to play grounded, people. I've got heels. I've got bandages. Yep. I've got some smoothies. Yep. Um, why have I got? Why have I got this on? I should never have come here. Enough to keep me safe. I don't remember anything. You're on the west coast. Oh no, you probably got a few hours to go. No, it's happening at the same time everywhere, right? That's the point. It's happening at like yeah midday or like three in the afternoon in America. Got bedtime here in the UK. Oh, maybe maybe I should go and build the museum. No, we've got we've got more prep to do. Right, have I got my hammer on me? Yes, I have. Right, best place for fresh mints is I want to say the oak tree now because like you might get a few fresh mints spawn at the um, the container in the trenches. Or just in the chests in general, in in a lot of the uh, chests. So maybe the sandbox. New rug, it's hot dog. No, I think it's mites. Why would a hot dog have all the tassels? It's mites. It's hundred percent mites. I would, I, I bet you, 
I bet you, I bet you a billion dollars, Spicy. It's mites. You already saw totality? Oh, okay, it's done then. Honestly, like do, it might be cool for people. I just don't care. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. Keaton, hello. Gecko. You here to chastise me about more weapons? Days of my world. I ain't gliding again. Yeah, well, that's it. So I'm going to do a fresh. I'm going to. I'm totally going to be racing Paralyzer and anyone else to do the first. I survived 100 days of grounded and and adding in a new game plus. Oh. Yes, yeah, son of a bitches. Wah! Thank you. Right, candy. It's like candy. I've been teaching all new. No, it's not. Why? Why are they dying? Oh, hang on. Oh, it's the mites killed them. The mites killed them. You're you're my best Belgian spectator. Well, welcome, my friend. I'm getting some practice in. I'm rusty. Is there any mints in this one? No, no mints. Ah, oh, piss off. Ah, oh, piss off. We need sometimes it's mint spawn down there. No. I need mints, people. Mints. Mints or um, chests. Might need some pupa as well. Yeah, I tried. To, well, that was famously how I got far. I did 100 days hardcore only to um, die on day something ridiculous. And then I transformed it into the uh, Ultra. I did everything in 100 days. Which is pretty impressive, really, because I never set out to do it like that. So the fact that I managed to rescue it and, and keep doing content, I thought was pretty good. Bl blowing me on trumpet. That's right, Ben. I'm only I'm only pulling your noggin, mate. I am. I'm rusty. I've been playing. Well, I mean, what have I done? I, Nightingale. That's what I did for like a, nearly a month. It's not going too well, though. Mints, people. Come on. Where do I get mints from? Is it chests? Is it the sandbox? Which I'm not going to see any of the chests because it's daytime now. Oh, there's one. Hang on, what's this? No? Can't believe there's not a single spawn. I was doing this before. Maybe I've just, I've used them all up. Where else are we going to get a bunch of mints from? The, the oak tree. That's what I said, didn't I? I did say the oak tree. I feel like there isn't enough on top of the tarpaulin either. So maybe we'll quickly go. I thought I've been beat the game. Oh no, you got to go back, man. If you haven't done 1.0 since 1.0, the um, super duper update was great. Shabak, hello. I'm good, mate. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Go and get more. More than one upgrade for bow paths. Maybe I presume it's got to go a bit stronger, right? But I think it's going to be the arrows. It will be just be like the 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 arrows are going to be the more important thing. Go to sandbox and scan from yeah.
Should I do it in daytime then? Giant, I don't know what your beef is. But I could tell. I don't like you. Tension seeking little dummies. Don't do it. Oh, wrong one. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Oh, sleeps. Yeah, we'll put on my um, heat resistant gear, yeah? Now, give me your ring. I've been grinding the game. Went from days. I'm loving it. Brand new playthrough, then continue. Multiple bosses. Ah, oh, nice rod stuff. Yeah, well, that, well. I am sad that they're not making um, the teleporters available in regular game. I know, I understand. And maybe you only have to do it once. It's not going to be such a big deal just going into New Game Plus. But I do feel like a bit like, ah. Oh, At least it's clean. It's kind of annoying. Ish. My vendetta against ugly zipline towers will continue. Okay, uh, let's go and get my hot gear. I'm feeling hot in here, so take off all my clothes. I am hot, I want to take my clothes off. With a little bit of uh, uh, and a little bit of uh, uh, and a little bit of uh, uh, and a little bit of uh, uh. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Don't let the name fool you. Don't need to, to I, yeah, but I swear at night time it's really hard to see. You don't see the glint. You just got run over the spots. Now I kind of do know most of the spots. To be fair, I I, I kind of do, but yeah. Uh oh, food, 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 food. Hope we see some gameplay. Yeah, I do too. Like it, it deserves to happen. Now. Here comes the negative Nelly part. Here comes the mediocre bloody Moni part. Some ports haven't always been great. And Outer Worlds, which was another Obsidian game, the port for that was kind of bad. It was it was it was it was just because the kind of game it is. But it was like muddy and horrible and just it just wasn't good. Um on the flip side, some games that when they've been ported to PlayStation have run better on PlayStation than they do at Xbox, weirdly. And Switch is done by Double Eleven, who I don't know. I don't know. They've done some good ports, they've done some bad ones. It's always hard, man. The Switch is such a hard thing to really do good content on. Like good ports. It suits only specific ones. Mild roads. Yeah, you can make it easier. But I just wanted... To, I wanted. To, I thought it would be able to collect them a bit earlier. Because there are some people that just want to play ground. They do it all the time. They'll just be building. They, they're they not particularly fan of combat and stuff like that. I just want to carry on doing their stuff. Um, gathering resources and, and stuff. So I can see why. We have zero low tier armor. Why do we need low tier armor, Alida? Yeah, on Epic, on Epic Game Store, it's good. Yeah, it's a good game. I did uh, guides on it back in the day. I've been there for pretty much most of Obsidian's games. No, it's a lie. I'm not. Uh, but that one, I've. Uh, 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 uh. Oh yeah, what have I got equipped? Giddy Goop! Oh yeah, no, I like Giddy Goop. Okay, let's get up to the zip line. My world's worst tower. This is why I don't like towers, because I don't know how to build them properly. Don't look down. Don't look down. And I still didn't get the food. I was meant to get food. Ashton was alright, yeah. Long Dark on Switch was okay. Different ports, different people. 
Stranded Deep. Mm, Green Hell was bad. Like, real bad. In fact, Long Dark's probably been one of the better ones because I guess the art style fits into it and stuff. But we'll have to wait and see. You bought limited run switch. Mm. Me too. I bought the switch, the the, uh, the switch collector's edition. People, right? I kind of, I do see some of the items in it, and I'm going to winch. I kind of would have preferred other items, for sure. It would be nice to get like um, a mug or um, a scab. Why? Why is there no scab? It, it, that, that's right, someone else pointed that out. It's like, it should have been a scab that we got in the game. Not just, um, like, hoops, wristbands. Like, I get why. They want something from all the kids, I'm guessing. You know, to reference all the kids. But, yeah, I would have preferred a real life size scab. Mint shard, woo. That's the other thing I wanted to do. I've run out of time. I was meant to hurry up and get this 150 days done, start again, because I wanted to do that video of, um, if anyone's ever seen Grounded, uh, Minecraft, where it's like how to complete Grounded the right way. How to complete Minecraft. How uh, Mojang want you to complete Minecraft. And the idea would be that you're not allowed to skip. I will do my best not to skip. Um, I thought it was a shiny. Yeah, there was. Uh, words, Jay. Get them out. Get them out, Jay. Words. Oh, mate. Look, this wants us. Um, by using the challenge and quests, we would complete grounded that way. And yeah, try not skipping and doing it exactly in the order that it appears with the quests. I need to get a rock cracker. Have I not got rock cracker on? It's one of them ones that I'll probably, again, never really use. Um, steel item. Busting. Yeah, it's that one. Okay. Whoa! Oh, I won't. Whoa! Oh. Uh. See, I'm, I'm rusty. I'm rusty. I'm like pressing all the wrong buttons here. All the wrong buttons. Uh, we'll have that and put the hammer there instead. There we go. Yeah, these guys are like, oh, just one bit of salt. I'm going mad. Aggroed, the aggroed. Tell you what it feels like. So one time after I did my first hundred days, which I lost the, the save for or um, the footage for, I went around putting like creatures in weird places. I spawned them in with the idea that I was going to start a new playthrough, and I just have all these creatures in random spots. So we had like black ox beetles running around the outside of the uh, sandbox on the on the edge of it, and that we had like green shield bugs uh, inside the um, hoses. Spicy, I think you helped me out there a little bit. Oh my god, what the hell? Okay, alright. Oh, 
cannot see. Veterans all getting, are they? Ah. <laughs> you should be using the sad battle axe. Well, thank you for backseat gaming, SFS. I'm in the mission. My my goal here isn't to kill creatures the fastest way. It's to hurry up and get as much mints as possible. Now, did I not see another shiny? There you go. Oh yeah, I did there. This is gonna be salt. Well, actually, I think you'll find the heat's quite bearable because you are wearing your super duper gear. <laughs> A watch that tells the heartbeat allowed to be changed the color of light to be in the game of Skep. Mm, yeah, yeah, that could work, Keegan. That could work. Um, right. Yeah. Okay. There's apparently some light right here still. You know, it's interesting. This is the only time I've ever used the scanner. Like, it is pretty much the only time you'd ever use it. Okay, yeah. Ah! Is that in the new mode, the bosses? Yeah, they're going to be massively m more tougher, Clement. Yeah, for sure. The new game plus. Uh, did I not bring my shorts things for me? No. I knew that wasn't going to make it. Did I not bring my weevil she shoes? Shields? Shoes? Shields? Shoes? 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 Infused mantis with even more explosive. So, yeah, is it going to cap out? So we can apparently... Uh, New Game Plus will carry on and on and on. Right? That's what I've said. But... Each time you fight the bosses, they're going to gain one new attribute. So, what? If you did it 20 times, there's going to be 20 attributes running around. That seems a little bit mad. Wait, uh... Uh, no! Sean, no worries, mate. Glad they helped. I've got plenty more incoming. No, I am getting sad. Like it does, it means that at some point I am going to have to play a new game. I am thinking Sea of Thieves for a while until something like Under a Rock comes out. Because that's coming to PlayStation for the first time as well. Um, <sighs> yeah, I've got to get in there. Got on, have I got a tuft on me? I'm so ill prepared. No, no tufts. Okay, what if I have uh, natural? I've got natural explored quickness. I'm trying to get across this bloody jump. <laughs> I don't know, it depends, right? Like, we just don't know how it's going to remix. And the idea that we're going to have different, some universes might have these new sort of elements where it's all the same. Ah. 
different levels color items yeah so like some universes might not have spice topes the new stuff only some remix yards are gonna have them okay let's try let's get a bit of a, maybe that one that feels like even further no fam 10 new additions on bosses so that's it so but it's still you can just keep doing it because that makes sense it would be a bit too stupid if it didn't cap at some point right god i can't believe i've got to do this just to get across the bloody thingy i should have brought some mushrooms with me He's doing four does that anyway the black widow helmet oh really that's bossing it josh i know i know i know but anyway top tip you can jump that if you've got um thingies a for choose you can totally jump it mate that's down there No, come on. <laughs> the red is jumping. Forgotten sea. Yes, yeah, any good gek, Ben? I'm yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Like bosses with ten attributes in them. That's going to be painful, man. Like I am not the best at combat. Oh, I do love the new additions they made with the combo finches. I can't believe anyone criticises the combat and grounded. Combat's amazing for a survival game. Small, small land? It's okay. I've covered small land quite a bit. I ain't gonna lie, I, I, I basically crapped on it. I did a mediocre. Because it just didn't fulfill its potential. Not yet. Not yet. Maybe it will. I don't think it really will, to be honest. It would just end up being disappointing. For me, personally. Okay, so I've got them two. I got the one up north, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did, and I think I got that one as well. So we kind of, we've got all the, 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 the the teeth we can um so where else survey scanner um we've got just one there i'll go to the hot tamari area it's there as well there's a couple locations not as many as a fault around the oak tree yeah mince is definitely lacking Mint is definitely one of the ones that you don't get enough of. Maybe because um, having fresh weapons is pretty OP for the upper yard. Maybe the devs didn't add as many. Because, you know, you can get salt really easily. And I feel like there's a bunch of spicy cha-cha boxes in the game. But not so much with the old mints. It's like a survival pirate game. Yeah, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Spicy candy would be arrows. Yeah, that. I mean, that's it. it, it we've got... I mean, it, it should be the same thing. Like, the spicy type. If it ends up being a mix of what we think spicy and sour, then you should be able to make spicy and sour arrows. Where, what, what were you doing here, anyway? Why was this aphid running around the, the sand? City boy, oh, city boy. Um, I should go and get some salt actually while I'm here. That's a good point. 
when how often do the ant lions respawn? I didn't realise that they respawned that quickly. I'm sure I've taken these guys up before. Oh, oh he got me. It's good and hot in here. I've went down the wrong one. Subnaut got Suns Forest grounded. Yeah, they're great games, they're great games. To be honest, when it comes to like choosing a new game to replace Grounded, it's got to be a new game, really. Or a game that's launching like Sea of Thieves on more platforms. I can't... The only other thing I was thinking of was really trying to make a go of doing 100 days. I did set up my third channel, and I did do a few 100 days. If I have some success with another Grounded 100 days, my other one's just hit 400,000 views now, my 100 days ultimate Grounded video. I could do that, and I, then I could play all my favourite survival games that I've kind of missed out on, or um, I've always wanted to do more on. I need the sour and mint trinket, then I have every in the game, but they never spawn. Ah, oh, rip. Yeah, I've got, I think I've got two fresh ones. Don't think I've got a salty one. They should make it you could just buy trinkets in New Game Plus. I mean, it sounds like that we're going to have lots of choice with the, the, the randomization. But it can't be too OP, because what if they, they become better than the ones we've got? But I guess if we're not going to be able to upgrade our trinkets... Like our trinkets right now will end up being more useless. Maybe. Oh, really? Bruh. Yeah, Sea of Thieves, I tried it the other week uh, on this channel, we, I, I live streamed it, it was okay, I haven't played it in a long time, like years, I covered it when it first came out, I hyped it up with news videos on my other channel, um, it's kind of, it's very basic Sea of, sea of Thieves, it hasn't got like the world's most, I would say, interesting combat, and the fact that you are just kind of grinding for cosmetics all the time. Yeah, it does feel a little bit lackluster. But I like Rust and PvP games, and I reckon I could become a proper little PvP chad if I put some time and effort into that. The insulating lava spikes, yeah, they always give just way too many. Stupid amounts. Stupid, stupid amounts. Especially if you do the lava cave. Bible lab building pieces, yeah! People, yeah! Yeah! Do you know what? I need rotten food and stuff. Well, I need fertilizer, to be honest. Let's get rid of that. I'm out of here. This is where I died in my hundred, my uh, hardcore challenge. These two outnumbered me. It's, I feel like they have been respawning a lot more. No? There's not usually like four of them. And this is where he got me. And I fell off the line. And then I wasn't prepared. And I died on day like. I want to say it was like day 67 or 47. Something like that. I was crying. Happened live as well. I was just about to go home and finish the stream. 
All I had to do was just get, I was just getting some salt or something. And yeah, it was random. I defeated the, um... I don't defeat the infect the the brood mother. Yeah, I think I had not the infected one. Count time made semi cool thing just for it to suck. Yeah, to give you some resources back. Yeah, it should be like the trash can. I can't. Why doesn't a trash can? Like a trash can should give you resources back for items. It's kind of glaringly obvious that that should be something that's added. But I suppose we we get all our base parts back, right? when you demolish them and stuff. Fuzzy, hello mate. I'm on Twitch as well, people. If you want to see me play lots of other games, like today, I played a brand new space game called Astrometica on my other YouTube channel, JPG Survival. But I also streamed it on Twitch. Basically, Twitch is the guaranteed place to see me play a bunch of survival games. Not just grounded. I'll also be covering Valheim in a big way very soon on my other channel. Dropped a torch is just for it to be under the map. It'll just disappear. Yeah, it'd be interesting. I haven't really covered the randomization. I'll do a short one of these baity ones. What random stats do you want to see on trinkets in 1.4? I'll do exactly that voice. Whoa, whoa, what random stats do you want to see in 1.4? I don't know why. Boom. Okay, that's not a bad haul. 41 shards. God damn. God damn. Only 11 candies. Boo. Boo. Do, 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 can we sleep already? It feels like it's too soon. In fact, let's switch back armors back. Better safe than sorry. So where did I go ahead and put me go faster boots? Where did I put them? Termite King organs, yeah? Did I put them in here? Yes, I did. Okay. Man, I do love the red ant armor. I've been representing this armor. Pretty much. And nothing but this armor. No matter what else I get. You're so excited for 1.4! I'm excited too, John! But I'm sad! It's the last grounded update ever what kind is there a surprise you think that they haven't mentioned that would blow our minds What could they have possibly added? That would be a big secret, a big surprise. There's only one new mutation. There's four new achievements. Befriend the ants. We know that's one of them. That's the mutations. It can't be like, we know it's no new bosses, but what else could there be? Actually, you know what? I'm just going to need one of these. Yeah, go on. Surprisingly not terrible. <clears throat> tier 4 staff yes that's the summon staff 100% that is a tier 4 item 100% it's going to summon ants I will put money on it oh I got the infected venom 
Yeah, so what? That's just... Yeah, for some reason that was the trinket then. Of course it's not. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Up, up and away! Oh, I should have took my lift. Why didn't I take my lift? <laughs> Owls, hello. That's a new game plus to get best weapons. Yeah! Run it twice. That's why I've got to be ready. So, what, these streams, this is what we're doing. Tomorrow, seven days to go. The next day, six days to go. The next day, five days to go. We are going to um, build a map, the best defense ever around the mixers. So that I can... Um... The one thing that we haven't clarified. So we've got to beat the bosses again. I guess we do have to beat the Java map again. Yeah, no, we do. Um, so we'll have just everything laid out. Completely and utterly laid out. But yeah, we're gonna just I'm gonna go over the top and like prepare as if we're gonna be attacked by multiple random infused creatures. Cause I think that's what'll happen. I don't think it's gonna be just sour creatures, right? It's gotta be more infused bugs hitting us at the final defence. Run the well, Roman candle you it's not even in survival mode, is it? It's only, um, what you call it? The rocket launcher. A salty staff. Yeah, but salty staff, what would it do? Like, do bleed damage, maybe? I think the idea of a summoner, it's the one thing that's missing. Remember, Grounded's kind of heavily influenced on RPGs and D&D, &D, right? So in D&D, &D, you've always got, like, a, a spell, a wizard, and, and we've kind of got that a little bit, but they... I don't know how people got really negative about that. I thought it was fine having them in. But, um. We don't have the typical summon the zombie to fight alongside you, summon creatures. So, the baby ant doesn't look like it is going to be a fighter, though. That's why I think the staff is different. The baby ant is your pet, and it will act just like other pets. But the summon staff, which we know from the game files already, that was its purpose. It was to summon pet ants, right? I'm pretty sure. So I think that's what that's going to be for sure, because it completes this sort of D and D builds ants that will fight for you. They could make it super six, sex, sexy, sexy. Ooh, ooh. Yes. No match for me. Penguin! Hello! Ooh. Oh! Took me eye off the ball there. Playing Willow today. Yeah, Willow's been my main girl for 150 days. We've done everything together. Keep that nose to yourself. Oh, I'm praying that we get the ability for all ants to be friendly. So that the fire ants just leave me the hell alone. Okay, yeah, we need it. Right in the corner. It is just the Ant Queen stuff. It is, it is, it is. Like you can tell by the achievements and the trophies, uh, the mutations. They've said there's no, I, they wouldn't lie. I don't think they're, oh, it's up top. Oh, God damn it, this isn't worth it. Nah, fam. No. 
Okay, so maybe we've got like one box. No more candy spawn in there. No candy spawn in there. Fine. With the Mant summons, they've got a chance. Any mobs have got a chance of being infused. No, 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 nope. Go away. Go away, wasps. Go away. Why are they still chasing me? Why? Oh, it went, it's a mosquito. But they still shouldn't have been chasing me that long. Oh, yeah. I've completely missed it. Where's this poxy fresh mint? Ah, oh, it's right on the, the corner's edge. A musket. Oh, I don't know about a musket. No, I don't want guns in the game. That would be bad. It's not it's not that kind of game. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Oh baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Boys. I see you. Go about your business. The mant. Yeah, if he's infused. Because he's easy. He is pretty easy. Compared to a lot of the other creatures, he is relatively easy, for sure. I forgot I got that as well. Right, um, map. Right. Oh, alright, calm down. Maybe some there. I'm like hunting down these fresh mints. I'm going to get them all. Penguin, thanks a lot, mate. Appreciate it. And thanks for saying hello on Twitch as well. Much appreciated. You know what? I've got to kill these guys because you never know. Might be that one time they drop some moss. Yes. I know there's moss there. Did I bring a dagger? Have I got my dagger on me? Yes, I have. I feel like I need moss for something. I can't remember what. Audience cordyceps. The last grounded. Grounded of us. Smooth fusy. Smooth smooth fusy. And smooth fusy. Infused smoothie. I do remember also feeling like I needed a ton of clay if we do get around to ever building my um, museum. I think for all the trophies, the arm stands and stuff. Lots of other I've been saying that. I'm the one that pushed that penguin. Who's these other troopers? Who are they? Stealing my ideas. No, it's pretty obvious. Yes, there will be a grounded too. They said it in a big interview. Adam Brennicky, Phil Spencer. That, uh, or Adam Brennicky did. That grounded is a franchise. You can't have a franchise with just one game. So although it's not, they're not officially 100% confirmed. It's happening. 20 million people playing this on Xbox. To bring that on other platforms. They're not doing that unless there's an absolute reason to do it. And that reason must be because they're bringing that sequel. Go okay, straight south. Oh, it's right there on the, the view. Anyway. Oh, it's where we saw uh, kind of funny games get smashed up. 
by that infused might. Just wrecking them. You go where you want, Standard. Twitch or YouTube. Right, where's this? Is it underground? Oh, really? Really? Not just like a mint sitting up here somewhere? Ow! I only just noticing there's a rock there on the sides. I've never noticed that, people. Look at that. Learn something new every day. Look at this. Never realised this was here. It's third quartz site. Do that as well. Any more in the walls? You don't have to text in chat. Oh, you might have to be in subscribe mode only on YouTube. Ow! All right, calm down. All right, I'm gonna have to run through the ant hill just to get one mint. No, bum that. We've got enough today. We'll keep building up over the next few days. Let's, see what we can find. Let's put these back on. Now, obviously, it might seem like a simple one, but where do you think the ant queens are actually going to spawn? Because we know where the fire ant queen spawns. Is there a chance that the regular ant queen will spawn in the abandoned ant hill? Then it wouldn't be abandoned anymore, right? I probably do need to kill a bunch of these guys as well for the horns. I need to switch over to uh, the right mutations as well. Ooh. Come at me, bro. Oh, okay, yeah, you did. Bugs are people sized. That would be kind of terrifying. You think the Black Ant Queen will be in the, the Antline Castle? Now there's a fool. Using that space they had, people will get pissed. Oh no, they wouldn't do that. Because then everyone would be crying their eyes out. Oh, why could you add that but not the lizard? If they've got explosive attacks, yeah, you're not going to be able to perfect block them. Red Ant Queen is in black. No, because remember they go to war. It's only because they really separated them enough. If a Red Ant and a Black Ant see each other, they're meant to kill each other still, right? Or is that a myth now? The Black Ant Queen? Do we? Well, I know where the eggs are in that chamber, the, the middle chamber, where, the, where they're meant to spawn. But I always thought it was weird that they had that area where you go and blow up the wall to get the uh, gold molar in the Black Ant Hill with the really weird mushrooms, the fuzzy ones. I always thought that was a bit odd that that place only had that. I mean, I think the Red Ant is probably gonna be the Red Ant Hill. It will be at the bottom there in the chamber, just sitting there chilling. Cause it's not got to move around or anything, has it? Okay, there we go. Bunch of mint shards. That was another eight. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. So how are we looking now? How are we looking now? 19. Okay. Yes, the fresh definitely was the fresh. It was the fresh I really needed to get more of. Oh, yeah. And we've still got two two places to go. Um, yep. Yeah, I do need my 
hot armor again. Unless I um, try and wear something that's going to help instead. Better safe than sorry. Huh. Don't let the name fool you. Pack off. Oh, why has no one done 100 days of grounded, but the floor is lava challenge? That's what someone needs to do. 100 days of grounded, but the floor is lava. But someone should do that. What if you could put like coals everywhere on the regular grounded map? And just have the whole game play through. No worries, Clement. Have a good night. I could juice some fresh. Yes. No, but I I need to save more raw science. I've got 11k. I I need them uh, teleports, teleporties. So I'm saving every penny. I've bought everything, though. To be fair, I have bought everything. Um, right. As soon as I put the sh spade in my hand, yeah, these guys are going to appear. Ah, oh, so suck your mum. Uh, two minute shots. Okay, we'll take it. Oh, okay, no, there should be another one. There it is. What next to this dude? Oh, I hope the pickaxe. I want it to be a paxel. I don't want it to be just a pickaxe. I want. That. Where's a paxel? Why haven't they give us paxel? Give us paxel, you cowards! I want an axe and a pickaxe in one. Ooh. Grounded devs are cowards. Oh god, damn that hurt. That hurt. It hurt, mommy. It hurt. Give me Paxel. You are in the wrong part of town. It'd be funny if he died and he just became roasted straight away. Oh, I saw a glimmer. Guessing it's not fresh, but still. Have I not got fresh defense on? Is that what's happening here? There we go. It's like I'm, I'm dying a bit too quick here. Give us the juice. I want a, a Staxel. Paxel. You know what I'm talking about, right? It's when it's half a pick, pickaxe, half an axe. I don't know why it's called a Paxel. Like, where's the L come from? Pickaxe and axe? Right, where did I see the ping? A glint of gold. No? I'm sure I saw one. I'm lying. Maybe it was just shining off the sunlight. Oh yeah, that's better. Quicker Vicar. Oh, only one there, though. Ooh. Ooh. Get out, get out, get out, get out.
No, it's definitely not shining. Okay. Drink nasty water. No, it's going to make me sick. It doesn't have any same properties as uh, the water in the infected zone, does it? Gonna need cement. Cement. That might be my short. I'm going to do a short, super short, short five things to get this done now. So sort of battle weakness resistance in new game, like new game, Black Ops people will be weak to spice. No, Barefoot Eel, they said that. Did you not watch my recent recap video of the Grounded Casually dev stream last week? Eric confirmed that none of the bugs are changing their weaknesses or resistances. They're going to be the same. You know the rules, so da ha 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 ha. You know it's been going on. You're really late. Oh, thank you very much, Owls. Yes, my child is doing great. She's seven months old. I taught her to clap today. Well, I've been teaching the last few days. I go like clap, 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 and then I'll get her hands and I'll do it, and she did it today. I've been doing it all week and today she went ah, ah, ah. This didn't make the noise, that was just me. <laughs> went, A bit out of sync but she did it. She did it. You need a tip on infected brood on mild. Um, I've, forgotten, I've forgotten everything. Fresh? Fresh defense, fresh weapon, that's what you want. That's the best, right. Why do I lose health there? And... What did I, what have I done? I've done it in the... Oh, I'll go back, you know what? I've put, like I said, I'm doing a recap video of my last 50 days. And I'm pretty sure I did go and fight it again. Yeah, because I've got the, the Moldy Blaster. I fought it a bunch of times. Because I've got the Blaster of the Moldy Matrock. Oh, God, I hope I have that footage. I must have done that as a Let's Play. No, I didn't. I think I left it because I was going to edit it. Oh, no, gutted. I might have lost that, people. Cry my eyes out. Now, one thing to do, think about people, is... Yeah, the Giddy Goop's good. Maybe if you do pick up the uh, Explosive Fungal Charm charm. Explosive Fungal Charm. That'll help with the explosions sometimes. Um, on Wild it's not too bad though. Um, don't make goblets, people. Don't do it. The chances are... I mean, I could be wrong here. We don't know for definite. The, but the Spicy Tote... It is going to be a new type of candy. So, I guess, no. I was about to say, people, don't make these in case you've got to combine candies. Like, if you've got to combine sour and mint or spicy and sour to make, like, there might be a way to make them. Because, yeah. Yes, yeah, good point. What do you think to that? What's the best armor for early to mid game? I like the Koya set, and it's relatively easy to get. You could go and do the um, Pond first, and you'll pretty much have a great armor set just by making sure you get the uh, the shovel, bring it down there, get the Koya bones. In fact, you'll get pretty much everything you need just by looting all the chests in the, the, the Pond. You might need a few tiny few bits more scales, which you can get easy enough. Otherwise, it's Oak's obviously early, early game, and it is the takiest. Oh, I like spider armor. No one else does. Ranged B armor, obviously. 
don't know. What's what, what's dark? I'm gonna look. Let's go and look. One week away. Yes, eight days a duck and quack. Countdown every day. But yeah, so what if that's the case? What if we can make some of the new candies? No, I guess not, because that's the whole point. Eric said some of these candies will only spawn in certain New Game Plus worlds. So yeah, ignore me. Go ahead and cook up your candies now into jewels and, and bars and stuff. It, it's probably going to be okay. You're not going to need the raw ones. Uh, let's look what we've got. Let's look what we've got. Ladybug armor, really. It's just, it's my favorite armor, in fact. I, I'd put it right up there until I get the red ant armor. Or the um, Black Widow armor, for sure. And all we got to do is tank a few ladybugs. There's, there's McCoy. Yes, Red Dud stuff. I agree. When grounded early game, I was better. Yeah, grounded. A small land dropped off, man. Their armors, they never made them interesting enough. It's like it's just like the most basic game when you really scratch the surface of it. I was thinking about it today. I'm doing a video. I'm always thinking about videos and what I'm going to do. Uh, in my head was obviously grounded versus small lands, but I feel like I'm just going to end up dunking on small land. So then I thought about doing five things that make grounded the best survival game. You know. 10 reasons Grounded is the best survival game. And I know Valheim give it run for its money. And I know Subnautica is great. And I know Sons of... Well, not Sons of the Rise, but The Forest is, is good. And at various times I voted them all better than Grounded. But, yeah, a video like that. Talking about all the different things that make Grounded good. good. Story, everything else. What weapons have been least? Luke! Uh, I've done shorts in them. Go and watch them. We don't know for hundred percent. We we just know there's obviously the candy mutations, um, candy variances, and at least a tier four set of weapons and possibly a ant scepter. Rosso, hello, Rosso. I started the stream. I went and checked that map you recommended. It's crazy, man. That dude has got no life. He did a good job though. It did look oh, great. <coughs> but crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. So how many of these have I got? You know what? It's about time I take these out as well. So I can actually see what I've got. I've got plenty of plating, or some plating at least. Is that all really the candies I've got? I've got, oh, yeah, I've got quite a bit in here now, cement and stuff. A few mussels. <gasps> I should start stocking up on potions as well. Potions? Ah, oh, pollen. Never use it. It depends on your perspective. If you like more realistic survival, Forest is better, but both are amazing. I absolutely love both. Just Ground is my go-to. Yeah, I agree. Like At various stages, I've gone like Subnorka's better, the best. But ultimately, ultimately, this is always boil it down to. You're trapped on a desert island for the rest of your life. There's a generator that can power up a screen and you can only play one game until you get rescued. It would have to be Minecraft. There is no argument and I will not accept any other argument against. Minecraft is the only one that you could potentially have unlimited things to do. 
procedure generated, pixel art, building, adventures. It's got to be the number one game. Minecraft. Ooh. Valheim or Grounded. That swaps a lot for me. I do like Valheim. I do like Grounded. The feeling in Valheim I've got though. I've had more epic moments in Valheim. Where I am in the raft. Going through the sea. Or just them clutch moments. Taking on a, a boss. Or, or just funny moments with trees. It's given me more moments. I think actually. Replayability wise. I feel like Grounded's got a lot of going stuff for it now. Especially if you had Playgrounds mode to it as well. Cheating a little bit. But yeah. So Grounded 2. Valheim 3. Subnautica 4. No. Terraria 4. Subnautica 5. The Forest 6. There you go. That's my top 6. <laughs> go. Come on. Give me your top 3 survival games. You played Raft just for the, fight, the, the, the irony of it. But not Bedrock Edition. Zelda, a link to the past. Is that it? But when you get bored, it's just that what life, it's not got something different in it. It is. It is exactly like choosing my two children. But I already said, I told the Valheim devs, like, if you release Ashlands at the same time as Grounded's last update, I mean, I'm going to have to choose Grounded. I have to. It's the law. Because it is, I'm, I'm not a big dog in Valheim. I'm not. Too many other creators. And I might, I'm not really a big dog in Grounded. No, I am. I am. I've got nearly 20... 23 million views now in Grounded. I think that's, that's, that, that establishes me as a big dog. I'm no I'm Cade. Get, you know, 50,000 views each video. But uh, my recap, I just realised today. 115,000 views on... Um, the news and info about the last update. That was pretty good. Just two weeks. Yes, we have. Yeah, it does. It gives Valheim's got that just like ever everessence. But yeah, I would say now though, I probably I would kind of get a bit sick of Valheim because there is. I like purpose and I don't like purpose, and I think maybe, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I've 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 done grounded only twice now. All the way to the end. Like with all the content in it. And I've only completed it all the way through once. With Valheim. I've only done that probably two times really. Where I've got to the point where I've got to now with the Queen. Thank you very much Luke. Have you tried Project Zomboid to come us? No I want to. It's on the list. I played it on the Switch once. Not Switch. The Steam Deck. When it first got Steam Deck came out, and it was pretty bad, but the port, oh, the controls and stuff. But I, I'm not very good at keyboard or mouse. But I desperately want to. I used to watch a lot of Nurse. She's like my favourite creator. This should be a proper trash can. I thought this was, you know, I, it took someone telling me it's not an actual trash can, Jade. It's just another storage. I was going like, oh yeah, it's great. I forgot we've got the greaves of the. I've got all this gear. What man, we've got to put my armor sets out. I've got to do it. I've got to tidy stuff up here. Yeah, we're gonna have a sort day. Get ready. In fact, if I take all this stuff out now and then do that, that helps out a little bit. I know, I'd see it. So you I can't remember where we left off. I was doing 150 streams, and then I said I was going to do the last few videos, or so I was mixing it up, but we were doing something. I was going to build the museum, and I needed all the bug parts to make the armor sets and the wet and everything. It's my fault we have to wait long for the Ashlands then. Well, we don't know. We don't know. It may drop this week, Claire. 
you never know. But no, because of the PTB, I think it's reliable. I'll tell you a funny story one day, Claire. One day. One day. What does the Minecraft grounded subnautica yet? You put in another eight hours, standard fries. Good stuff. Zyle Chaos, hello. Welcome. Yeah, it's it's happening. The sequel's absolutely happening. I honestly think Grounded 2 will come out like it potentially could go into early access at the end of the year. I, but I think next year. I think next year we'll see it go into early access. Uh, just a year's wait from PlayStation. Okay, right. Let's um, do the mint globs then. We'll do half. And then I'll do the other ones for uh, jewels. No, I won't. I need... What do I need? I need supreme whetstones. God damn it. I have not got supreme whetstones. Yeah, we need... To, I need to start hunting Black Ops Horns. Clearly. Why would Grounded 2 be trash, Alida? Like, you'd have to really mess things up. I mean, I know it can happen. Let's talk sequels. What's the worst sequel we've had in gaming terms? I'm struggling. Like, Fallout 76? Maybe? Fallout 4? Worse than Fallout 3? Most people would say it's better. It's so better. Skyrim is better than Obsidian. And we do need twinkling shells as well. Oh man, I need to get a bunch of shizzle. Bunch of shizzle. Dun 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 da 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 do 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 All right, I'm gonna put that in there. The boss parts, put that in there as well. And that one in there too. Halo Infinite was kind of mid. Yeah, like when you get to the point, so let's do just the, f okay, forget Obsidian, uh, Oblivion. The first game and the second game. So not like Gears of War 5 or Gears of War 4. Gears of War 2 better than the first. It was longer. But I did like Gears of War 1. I thought like, it was pretty epic. You go to sleep, Alida. Have a one. Mike, I did a video on it. You should go and watch it. Five things you need to do before 1.4. But in a nutshell, start saving your raw science. Get lots of candies. <laughs> Make the final defense mixer as strong as it can be. Because you're going to be doing it over and over again. Get good at fighting bosses. Practice now. Get bad. plenty of um, practice fighting them. Because they're going to get new attributes. But you still need to be good at taking them on. And... Get plenty of upgrade stones. And upgrade rocks. Cockroach would be good by clad and ground, But they never did. Yeah, in small land they look pretty cool. I do like the bugs in small land. A lot of them do look cool. Interesting. The Immortal Mayor. No, I've never heard of it, Keedam. Is Portals to Enshrouded sequel? Maybe standard. It's pre pretty much exactly the same, right? Drawn to Life Two Worlds. Yeah, that killed it, did it? COD, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm, just, I'm thinking now, like, what games are out? We're like... Do you know what? I'm going to just quickly look. Tomb Raider 2. I prefer Tomb Raider 2 to Tomb Raider 1. That was a great game. Um, to fair, I haven't got that many sequels on Steam. They're mostly early access games I bought. The Witcher. The Witcher 2 is better than The Witcher 1. The Witcher 3 is better than Witcher 2. 
Vermin Tides, yeah, that's better than the original. Slime Rancher 2, I don't think Slime Rancher 2 is as good as number 1. It's too similar and just not as got the same feel. Salt 2 is better than 1. Torchlight 2, definitely better than Torchlight 1. Mafia 2, better than the original. There we go, you get the idea. <sighs> right, people. I have streams for how long now? How long is the stream going? What time did we start? One hour, 51 minutes. I'm done. I'm done. But we'll be back tomorrow around the same time. I'm trying to do every single day this week. So come and hang out while I get prepared. Tomorrow we will probably think about maybe the final defence, the Java Mag. We're going to get cement walls everywhere traps everywhere spikes everywhere turrets everything that's what we'll do we'll do all that uh so every day eight o'clock and yeah there we go people um thanks a lot for watching i'll have some more videos and shorts prepping and hyping up 1.4 and i shall 